BTEC Applied Science Unit 3 Skills. This video is about something called a chi-squared test. Uh, it's pronounced chi-squared. In English you would spell it as chi, but it's actually the Greek letter chi, which looks like a big X. But So it's a chi-squared test we're going to be looking at. Consider this. A scientist measures the number of daisies and dandelions in a field by taking samples and she calculates that the field has 24,050 daisies and 22,980 dandelions and she suggests that there is no significant difference. Is she correct? Can we test her suggestion? Consider this now. A hundred people in Stockton who had a cat or a dog, but not both, were asked which one they had, a cat or a dog. And 62 people had a dog and 38 had a cat. And someone suggests that there is no significant difference. They suggest a, a null hypothesis. Are they correct? Now, looking at these two examples, you'd probably say that with the flowers, you would agree that there is no significant difference. With the cats and the dogs, you would probably say that there is a significant difference, that people were more likely to have a dog. What we need is a mathematical way, uh, an empirical way of testing whether this suggestion is correct or not, whether there is no significant difference. And the test is called a chi-square test. It's pronounced chi-squared. And what it does is we are testing a null hypothesis. We are testing if there is no significant difference between the observed values and the expected values of two numbers. The expected values, well, the expected value would just be the average. With the daisies, if there was absolutely no significant difference, then the average of the two numbers of flowers, 23,515, that would be the expected value. With the cats and dogs, the expected value would be 50. It would be 50-50 if there was absolutely no difference. So that is our expected value. Another example. A scientist thinks that the percentage of people educated to university level in Hartlepool is the same as in Middlesbrough. So he interviews 500 people aged 30 or over in both places, and these are his results. In Hartlepool, there's 150 people. In Middlesbrough, there's 176 people. He expects to get the same number. Our expected value is 163, which would be the average of the two. And he suggests that there is no significant difference. Looking at the numbers, you would probably agree but again, we need a mathematical way of testing if there is no significant difference. Obviously, it's all about probability. We can only say whether the, dif the difference is probably not significant. And what we do is we settle for a 95% chance. If there's a 95% chance that the difference is not significant, uh, in other words, if there's a 5% chance that the difference is significant, we settle for that. How do we do it? Well, we start with the, the null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis, our hypothesis is that there is not a significant difference. And we're going to compare how close the observed values are to the expected values. This is how we do it. We calculate the chi-squared value using an equation I showed you before. I'll show you it again. We calculate the chi-squared value and we compare that with something called the critical value. And the critical value, we look that up in a table. You'd be given the table. And if the chi-squared value is greater than the critical value, then the difference is probably significant and the null hypothesis is wrong. If the chi-squared value is less than the critical value, then the difference is probably not significant and our null hypothesis cannot be rejected. Okay, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. 
So we work out the chi-squared value and we ask the question, is it bigger than the critical value? How do you work out the chi-squared value? You use this equation here, the x squared, there's your chi-squared value, that's what we want. O is an observed value, E is an expected value, uh, that means add them up. So for each of the values you work out the observed value minus the expected value, you square it, then you divide it by the expected value, then you add them up, and that is your chi-squared value. Okay, so chi-squared is the sum of uh, O minus E squared divided by E. So for this example of the Hartlepool Middlesbrough thing, let's work it out. The observed value is 150 for Hartlepool minus 163. Square it, divide by 163, you get 1.04. You should get the same value for Middlesbrough because the difference will be the same. And so our chi-squared value is 2.08. What's our critical value? We look it up in a table. And here is the table. If you need it, you'll be given, given the table. We're only interested in the 5% column. As I said, it, it's 95%, 5%, just that column we are interested in. The degrees of freedom... Don't worry too much about this. It's the number of items minus one. So if there are two items, then there's one degree of freedom. If there were three items, there would be two, etc. It's the number of items minus one. Usually there's just two items, so the degrees of freedom is one. And that means our critical value is 3.84. So... 2.08 is less than 3.84. The chi-squared value is less than the critical value, and that means that there is probably no significant difference. We cannot reject the null hypothesis. We can probably say that the difference is not significant. Consider this. Here's another one. Is there a relationship between lung cancer and smoking? So... The records of 10,000 people who died of lung cancer were studied to see if they smoked or not. And in those 10,000 people, 7,600 were smokers, 2,400 were non-smokers. Is there no significant difference? Just looking at those numbers, what do you think before we actually do the chi-squared test? If there was no relationship, then the expected value would be 5,000. So uh, a null hypothesis would be that there is no link between them. I'm suspecting that there probably is a link. However, look at this. Is there a relationship between lung cancer and smoking? Let's say we only looked at 10 people. And we found that in those 10 people, six of them were smokers and four of them were non-smokers. Is there no significant difference? Well, it's a bit trickier now. You can't really tell. Because the difference between them isn't that big, and also because our sample size isn't that big. I'm going to work out the chi-squared values for each of these now. And for the first one, my chi-squared value, 2,704. For the second one, my chi-squared value, 0.4. Again, our critical value is 3.84. I think we can safely say that uh, on the first one, we can reject the null hypothesis. The difference is very, very much probably significant. On the second one, however, 0.4, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. We need a bigger sample. Let's go back to the beginning and the examples I gave at the beginning and I'd like you to work out the chi-squared values for each of these. Our critical value is 3.84 and work out can we reject the null hypothesis. If you're in my class I'd give you this for homework.